YouTube, what's good YouTube? I'm back with another good video, fellas. I don't even know what to call this video. All right, probably the coldest dating truth I had to learn growing up. Or oh, the realest dating truth I had to learn growing up. Right, and that's why I'm telling you guys, you need to go out there and see the world for what it really is. Right, you can come on my YouTube and watch my videos. Yeah, I give you game, I give you the general advice on life and what really goes on in the streets, but I can't teach you everything. There's some things I can't even talk about on YouTube because the moment I talk about it, that video's getting taken down or someone's gonna report my channel. But with time, as time goes on and I have a Patreon. When I make a Patreon and I have exclusive members, I'm gonna really start putting you on real game. But this is just the beginning. But I can't preach everything on here. There's some shit you're only gonna learn when you're out in these streets. You're only gonna learn when you go out and see the world for what it really is. See dating for what it really is. The coldest dating truth I had to learn growing up was women love you in the moment and how you make them feel in the moment. That's a fact. You can mean the world to her today and let's say tomorrow comes and you guys no longer click, you guys no longer get along, the connection isn't there or some fucked up shit happens, whatever it is, once your moment passes, you no longer mean anything to her. And that, that's deep game right there. That's deep truth right there. What you need to realize is, fellas, right? And that's why I'm saying when something happens, when a woman breaks your heart, it's okay. It's cool to be upset. It's cool to be hurt for a week, two max. But after that, you need to move on with your life. And I'll tell you why you need to move on. Because once your moment passes with that woman and you no longer mean anything to her, trust me, fellas, unless you were digging that guts right, unless you were fucking the shit out of her and you were rocking her world, she forgets about you like that. For real. And I had to learn that myself. All right? I had, there was this, when I was younger, I was 15, 15, I was 15. She, uh, the girl I was dating at the time was 16, right? So, she, what, she, uh, what, she was, what she would always do was, yeah, she would always go to every morning before school, secondary school, right? High school for the Americas watching and wherever you are around the world. Before school, she would go to her ex-boyfriend's house, right? Every morning before school. But what was crazy about it was whenever she was there, she was never on her phone. Couldn't message her. You message her one tick. One tick. I messaged her one tick, right? Two hours later, my phone died blah 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 I was with so and so the ex I knew who he was he was older than me I didn't really give a fuck at the time alright first time I let that slide cool second time she did it again phone was off and she would always tell me don't worry it's alright he wasn't really he, never, he wasn't really digging my guts out properly he wasn't really hitting my spot like you do but it's cool don't worry about it and not being red pure aware back then, I was like, all right, fair enough, all right? This is what I mean about game. You, you, when you go through life, you experience certain things and you see the world for what it really is, right? So it happened the third time now. And being 15, right, I ain't dumb. You know what? My dad, I've always said on my channel, my dad's masculine as fuck. And my mom's feminine as fuck. So 
I've always seen how my dad moves and I've always just learned from him. Right? So yes, you could say I was looking up at, to my dad and seeing what he was doing, but he wasn't necessarily putting me on game. I was just observing. So at 15, I knew something wasn't right. Something's not clicking. All right, cool, whatever. It's all right. So the third time came now and I checked her. Yo, what's up? Every time you're with this guy, your you're never on your phone. Your phone's always switched off. What's going on? You fucking him? Oh, your phone's been off for three hours. I said, quote for quote, you've been fucking him for the last three hours. And yeah, now I think about it, yeah, it's a bit, it was a bit immature for me to say, but I was 15, I was young and I was wise. I knew something wasn't right. So checked her on it. And at that moment, the relationship fell apart, right? We, we ended it pretty much right there. Well, she ended it, even though she was in the wrong, but that's another story on its own. I went from being this girl's world, talking about she wants to marry me, she loves me, she, she can't wait to spend the rest of her life with me, all that bullshit. She went from that to being a complete stranger. She went from that to us never talking again. It went from all that lovey-dovey shit to not really connecting. So I went from being your world just yesterday to today and I'm nobody to you. And guess what she was doing? Still seeing that ex. Right after, even though we broke up, she was still seeing that ex. So had I not gone through life and experienced that for myself, would I be who I am today? Probably. I ain't gonna cap and say no. Probably. But I had to learn that shit for myself. I had to see that experience and say, at 15, something ain't right. Something ain't clicking. Something seems off. So at 15, I seen that and I'm like, okay. All right, but that was just the beginning stages of really learning the game, really seeing the world for what it really is, right? No one can teach you that. No one can really teach you that. And yes, you have the YouTube and I speak about that. Women cheating in rhythm, cheating based on their schedule. Cheating, flying across the country to fuck someone else and coming back in time to make you dinner and you don't even have a clue. Shit like that, you have to experience to really see the world for what it is. But to a regular guy who doesn't have a clue, oh, I'm, I'm speaking a foreign language to him. He doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. This is all weird to him. And... What I'm saying here, fellas, is, fellas, what I'm trying to say here is, right? In a moment, in that moment, I meant the world to this woman. And the next day, I no longer meant anything. And that's how life is. So when you're sitting back, soaking about her, two years later, you're still thinking about her. Yeah, she hurt me. She broke my heart. Three years later, you're still thinking about this bitch? Oh, she's already moved on with her life. There's another guy rocking her world. There's another guy who makes her happy. There's another guy who has taken your position. You no longer mean anything to her. And that's just the truth. That's the reality. So... Whilst you're soaking and bitching at home, home girl or whatever you want to call her is no longer thinking about you. She no longer cares about you. She might. And here's the thing, right? All right, okay. And when she does think about you and she hits you up, it's to see where you are in your life. To see if you've made improvements. 
to see if you are, if you've elevated a lie. That's her, her hypergamy kicking in. So she's going to calculate all of that and see whether it's worth apologizing, trying to get back with you. See if it's worth getting back in your life. Trying to do all that lovey-dovey shit with you again. That's what they do. And, I'm, I, and I know this because that's exactly what she did. She tried to get back with me. And I wasn't with it. I didn't have time for that. I wasn't interested in that. Our moment's, our moment's done. Yeah, we were young. Yeah, we were immature. But nah, I, I don't want nothing to do with you. Right? I've moved on with my life. I'm focused, I have goals, I have ambitions, I have certain things I'm trying to do. And to be real, I have options. So I really don't want to mess with you. <laughs> I've already got a tight rotation that I am juggling right now. For the Red Pill Brothers, you know what I mean by that. But I'm not going to talk too tough on that. That's the reality of dating. So. If you are, if a woman has broken your heart, cheated on you, disrespected you, walk all over you, if that's you, that's cool. That's cool. That's all right. You can be upset. I, I've never said you can't be upset. You can be upset for a week or two. But after that, my G, it's time to move the fuck on. It's time to shave your beard and wipe your tears. It's time to move on. It's time to widen your horizon and see what options you have out there. It's time to take a shower and get the fuck out of your basement. Get the fuck out of your bed. Get off the couch and stop watching Netflix. It's time to move on with your life because she's already moved on. She's already dating someone else. Within that week or two, She's dating someone else. Someone else is digging out her guts. Someone else might even be digging it out the same night she broke up with you. If she wasn't already doing that while she was with you. That's the truth. The dating world is not as pretty. Not everything is pretty. Keeping it real. Not everything is lovey-dovey. Like the world likes to make it seem. They, they like to make it seem like it's a fairy tale. She's going to pull her hair out the window for you and you're going to climb up. Or, or she's going to kiss you while she sleep and you all of a sudden wake up and you're in love. It doesn't work like that. I'm preaching the reality of dating. Women love in the moment. She loves who you are and how you make her feel in that moment. But once your time is done, once your time is expired, it's time to move on, G. It's time to be on your grind. It's time to be on your purpose. It's time to chase your goals. It's time to chase your dreams. It's, it's time to get up, get on your feet and do something with your life. Success is your biggest revenge, fellas. I've always said that. Success is your biggest revenge. You move up in life, you make investments, you make money, you start your business, you work and grind, buy you a nice house, a nice car, and then when you see that bitch, flex on her. Flex on that bitch. I ain't interested anymore. Oh, I'm dating someone already, but if you want to wait in line, you're fourth or fifth in line, right? If you want to wait, but it's going to take a while. That's the reality, guys. I love pe preaching the truth. I love giving you the truth. I love... I'm just giving you the world the way I see the world. What I experience. What I've seen happen to people. What my elders, what my mentors have put me on. I'm just giving it to you guys. Anyways, I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. Like, comment, subscribe, hit me up in the DM fellas. I'm out.